My mentor Don Clifton said that if you want to fill your own bucket, if you're feeling empty or lost or lonely or, or confused, the best way to fill your own bucket is to fill someone else's. Well, today, so many of us are feeling lost and lonely and disconnected. I've got a mom in London who's locked down with her mask and she doesn't know what to do and I feel trapped, I feel helpless, I feel like I can't help her. I got my sister whose career is on hold because the whole of this health crisis has undermined the dance world that she lives in and that's her career. And I've got my brother, he's living all by himself in some flat in London, he doesn't know what to do with himself and I, I'm thousands of, like maybe like you, I'm thousands of miles away from the people I love and I wanna help. But I'm also feeling so just disoriented myself. I have no rhythms, I have no routines, all of those things have stopped. And so in the, in the time when you don't really know who you are and how do you fill yourself, I go back to Don and Don, with whom I built Strengths Finder, of course. Don's advice is so relevant for all of us. If you wanna help yourself, the best way you can do that is to help other people. So I want to offer you the gift of standout so that you can help the people that you love and care about the most. We have spent the last 10 years building this instrument, standout. In, in such detail, such precise data around what it measures, what it doesn't measure, how it can show you the particular two strengths that you have that differentiate you from anybody else. And so many clients and so many people within those clients have been transformed by knowing what the particular strengths that they have are and how to contribute them. So now, if you're worried about your family, if you're worried about those that you care about most, if you're worried about yourself, now is the time to give them the gift of their strengths. Give them the gift of stand up. What we're gonna do is give each person uh, the opportunity to take the stand up assessment. They're gonna get to know their top two strengths roles. They're gonna get the 14 page really detailed report on who they are and what they bring. And then every Friday, in fact, this Friday, um, Friday the 17th of April, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna answer any questions that you may have about a particular strength and its combination and how do you get along with the people that have a different strength than you do and what kind of careers might a particular strength lead you toward. This is a, gosh, what a wonderful time to do this. I'm not saying that we aren't struggling right now and we aren't wondering what the hell we should do right now. And yes, we should seek things to occupy ourselves and our family. We should learn to paint watercolors and we should learn to break bread and all sorts of other things. But this isn't that, this isn't about occupying your time. This is about taking the time to do something really important. Every single one of us wants to know who we are and what we can contribute to the world. And yet we run so fast, we're so busy, we don't listen to one another, we don't see one another. We don't see ourselves. So now is a chance to do that. Please pick five people. What last week we called your strong life team. Who's on your strong life team? Pick your strong life team. Get them to take the standout assessment and then come back with me on Instagram Friday, April the 17th, and we can dive in together on the uniqueness of each one of these nine strengths roles and how it plays in you and how it plays in them. Standout is a gift, and we have a time right now for you to give that gift to the people that you love and care about the most. And whenever you have the opportunity to do good, then you should do good. So we have an opportunity to do good.